Welcome to GitOpsCon North America, everybody. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think we'll start off by thanking our wonderful Platinum sponsors. Uh, first is uh, Acuity. Thank you, Acuity, for making this uh, conference happen. And uh, again, thanks to our uh, sponsors, CodeFresh. Um, again, thank you for making uh, this event possible. Um, you know, w without without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to hold this event. So, um, you know, big sincerest thank you to both Acuity and, and CodeFresh. Uh, please visit their booths, talk to them. Great, great folks out there. Yeah. Uh, so I think most of you are in this room and you've figured out that the meals and refreshments are all taking place around the corner here in room 323. Bathrooms are right here as well. So um, I think that's where we're going to be having lunch and snacks and everything too. So um, yeah. Yeah, and I think the second track is 322, which is so everything's in right this here. little corner. So yeah, it should be good. Talk about code yep. Yeah. So um, just remember, uh, remember the golden rule, right? We um, we all abide by the CNCF code of conduct. Um, basically, just uh, be cool with everyone. Um, so if if you have a, an issue or anything else, um, please feel free to reach out. Um, you know, just remember, kind of follow the golden rule, and uh, yeah, be kind to respectful to everyone. So a couple of um, upcoming events that we have to get out of the way before we kick things off here. Uh, Cloud Native Security Con is coming up June 26th and 27th. Early bird pricing ends May 19th and sponsor sponsorship opportunities close on May 16th. Uh, yeah, and um, I think uh, Secure uh, AI Summit is co-located with that event. Um, so that's happening uh, June 25th um, here. I don't know if it's in this actual convention center, I imagine so. Um, but it'll be in Seattle as well. So. Also, the same day, June 25th, is the Hotel Community Day. Um, so you can get registered for that as well. And the last one, I'll go ahead and do. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, StrimzyCon is May 22nd. That's virtual. And then GR I want to say GRPC Conf, but I think it's just GRP. P GRP Conf or GRPC <laughs> Onf. Yeah. Um, <laughs> August 27th, and that one's in Sunnyvale, California. All right. So everything's out of the way. So um, the Open GitOps project update. Uh, let's get into it. So I'm Stacy. Potter, I'm a community manager with uh, Stacklock, and um, I used to work at Weaveworks. So that's how I got involved in the GitOps space, um, and I am a member of the Open GitOps uh, media and marketing uh, team. Uh, I was supposed to be joined by my wonderful colleague, Scott Rigby. This is not Scott Rigby standing on stage with me, unfortunately. Scott couldn't make it. Um, so we have the wonderful Christian Hernandez here. So do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. So uh, Christian Hernandez, um, I am um, head of community over at Acuity. Um, I'm also an Argo CD maintainer and Open GitOps maintainer as well. Also part of the, um, I guess, marketing media um, and I guess events committee as well uh, for GitOpsCon. All right. So about us, right? Uh, I forget. You got this. I got this one. Okay. <laughs> we we uh, apologies because we kind of uh, Scott um, uh, kind of told us last minute and I kind of wrangled this together. So um, so uh, who we are, right? So um, so Open GitOps is a CNCF sandbox project, right? The idea is to have a principal led sort of um, um, community-based meaning of GitOps. So the idea was that um, I like to equate it to we didn't want um, what happened to cloud, what what happened to the, the term GitOps, right? Because cloud, it's like, what does cloud mean? Like everything's cloud, right? Everyone's calling everything cloud. So we kind of want, we, we the GitOps was a buzzword, obviously, for a long time. And uh, members of um, interested parties got together um, from... Uh, the Flux community, the Argo uh, community as well, um, communities from all around, companies like Red Hat, um, AWS, GitHub, Weaveworks at the time, um, you know, we, uh, CodeFresh, all, all of these companies got together and say, like, okay, let's kind of define what GitOps is. So it's mainly a, a community about these principles-led uh, community, and it's also about interoperability between tool set and um, basically saying, okay, like, let's... Um, 
let's have this principle-led definition, and which makes um, us working with each other's tools uh, a lot more easier. So um, you can visit us by going to uh, opengetops.dev is probably the best way, and we'll get more into how you can get involved a little bit later, um, or go to uh, get, uh, github.com slash open dash getops. We've been meaning to get open getops. If anyone working at GitHub that can help us out with that because someone has parked that and hasn't done anything with it. Um, so we are a cloud native sandbox, a CNCF sandbox project. So next, thank you. Um, so this past March, so like I think the biggest announcement is this past March, we basically um, merged the GitOps working group, which was a governing body of open GitOps into the open GitOps project uh, proper. So now um, there is no more open Get up, uh, there's no more GitOps working group um, because congratulations, we did it, right? <laughs> we did it, Joe. Um, uh, we succeeded, right? The GitOps working group succeeded. We merged it and now it's just under one project called the Open GitOps Project. It was a little confusing um, to folks. Wor um, working groups aren't met in, in the CNCF aren't meant to be long lasting. Um, and actually, I think the GitOps working group lasted longer than I think we should have just because we needed to get some things together um, beforehand. But um, all activities are going to be moved into the Open GitOps uh, CNCF Slack channel. So um, if you haven't joined that, please join that. And um, again, the GitHub page and everything else will go into more details a little later. But that's kind of the big announcement um, that we are no longer the GitOps working group. I keep hitting this thing. Um, <laughs> GitOps working group, we are just part of the Open Sam uh, GitOps Sandbox project. So I keep talking about principles. I hope by now most of you are at least familiar with the principles. If not, it's always good to get a refresher. And since we actually didn't see a 101 talk um, this time around, um, I figured I'd actually go through the principles. Um, I'll go through them real, real quick because you can actually see them and get more in-depth information on the open getops.dev website. But um, kind of the four principles, uh, the four pillars I'd like to say is like first it needs to be declarative. Right, and um, the system operated by GitOps needs to be declarative, right? So it needs to be, um, you know, originally we looked at Kubernetes and how Kubernetes was deploying things. It's like that is kind of like the model. And using GitOps as an operation model, it only makes sense that your system is uh, managed declaratively. It is a uh, version and immutable. This is kind of like where the Git in GitOps comes from because Git is versioned and immutable, but it doesn't have to be Git as long as it is um, uh, the, the declarative, the declaration is sits in a storage system that provides um, a way for you to version, version them and keep them immutable uh, so that way you can move forward or backwards um, whenever you need to. Um, and so uh, the third principle is pulled automatically. So this one I always have to explain a little bit because people get a little bit um, caught on the word pulled because they think, oh, push model, pull model, I'm like it actually has nothing to do with that. Um, it actually has to do with how those declarations are retrieved, right? So this differentiates it from like an event-based type of workflow where um, like you make a command and a webhook gets hit. Um, so we want a controller to monitor your state store and anytime there's a change, it'll pull those um, changes locally, right? So instead of a push model where, uh, or a webhook model, event-based model, um, it's, more, it's mainly, you know, reconciliation loop essentially is what we're talking about in the, um, in the, in the uh, third principle of pulled automatically. So not to say you won't have webhooks, you'll definitely have webhooks in your workflow, but using workflow uh, webhooks solely isn't GitOps, you'd, you, um, you're using, you would have to use a controller that is continuously monitoring your state store. Um, and speaking of which, so once the, the state store is retrieved, right, it's pulled from um, the, uh, the version and immutable um, uh, state store, um, there's a con that same controller, um, or a different controller, um, continuously tries to reconcile any differences, right? So if there's a difference, there's a divergence or anything, the controller will attempt to reconcile those differences. And really that's kind of like uh, the GitOps principles. Um, notice how we didn't mention any tools. We didn't mention like how to do any of these things. It's, it, it's, it's mainly um, to kind of uh, define what GitOps looks like and like what you use and what you do 
Um, we kind of like leave it up to interpretation. Um, and there's plenty of tools. I mean, the most famous uh, tools, I guess, would be uh, Flux and Argo CD. But there's other tools that also conform to this, So, um, which actually makes me happy because that means we did a good job um, <laughs> at defining these. So those are the principles. Um, for more detailed information, go to opengetops.dev. There's a glossary um, and with other terms and definitions and what we mean by specifically mean by these, uh, these words there. I would also just like to add in, too, that in order to do GitOps, you don't have to be doing all four of these uh, all at once. You know, everybody's journey looks different. So if you haven't started with GitOps yet, pick one, you know, start there and slowly work your way up. Getting to all four is kind of like peak maturity yeah, that's in like, the yeah. GitOps model. So just pick where you want to start your journey and just get going. Cool. So announcements. Um, we recently uh, released the GitOps certification uh, exam, but I did want to mention also that the Linux Foundation has some basic training for GitOps as well, which is free. Um, but the brand new GitOps certification um, exam is out there and is available now. Um, for all attendees today and uh, at this conference, you can actually go to the Linux Learning Center um, I think that's going to be at Open Source Summit. Like yes. once the exhibit hall opens at Open Source Summit, um, there's a big learning center there that you can go to, and they will give you a 40% discount on the GitOps exam uh, if you would like to take that. So, what is the GitOps Associate exam anyway? So, it's for DevOps engineers and team members, platform and software engineers, CI CD practitioners, uh, and other team members who are building IDPs with GitOps built into them. Um, it's a proctored online 90 minute exam uh, that's multiple choice. And the certification demonstrates that you comprehend GitOps patterns, uh, including when and why to use them, precautions to take around tooling for manifest format and packaging, state store systems and reconciliation engines to adhere to and extend GitOps principles. Uh, so the certification is good for two years. And yeah, if you want to get that 40% discount, hop on over to the, uh, the Linux Learning Center this week while Open Source Summit is going on. And then just a huge thanks to everyone who made this exam possible. There were so many people involved um, who have, I mean, it was about a year or yeah, something. Yeah, about a year. Uh, and blood, sweat, and tears, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And, it, <laughs> in, 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 and, like, and not just like us in the GitOps working group, but um, in, in Open GitOps, but also people from the CD Foundation helped out. People right. um, you know, from the CNCF helped out. So there was a lot, a lot of people um, that uh, took a part of this. And yeah, it took about like a year, year and a half, I yeah. think, yeah. So thank you everyone involved. It was a huge effort. All right. Yeah, so speaking of getting involved, <laughs> um, we're getting involved um, with uh, the um, Open GetOps. So, um, so uh, when you go to Open GetOps in, um, in the GitHub page, right, you'll see uh, kind of like this top level um, organization here. Um, most people are gonna want to start at the project level. So um, can you, the, the, there we go. <laughs> so here um, is kind of where um, all things live. Um, uh, this is kind of like the, the entry point of everyone. You'll see like governance and things like that um, in the project repo. Um, other things uh, like documents, like the GitOps principles and the glossary are in the documents repo. So those are kind of like the, the two main ones. Um, we also have, um, the website actually gets more traction than anything else. I think people writing blogs and us putting up events and things like that in the website. We have one guy who um, is kind of like the webmaster as well. So if any of you know a JavaScript or anything like that and want to help out, we have a bus factor of one right now. Um, so we could probably use help there, but it, any, anywhere else as well. Um, but yeah, start at the uh, project level if you're, if you're new. Um, to, um, to, uh, to wanting to get involved with the Open GitOps uh, project, uh, go there and seek the governance and uh, other information about getting involved. So, um, so we have teams, right? Teams and subgroups, um, like anything, any other projects, we have uh, SIGs and people who want to focus on specific things. Um, we're, uh, we're pretty small now, uh, so you'll see some of us in all of them. Um, <laughs> so we definitely can use help in any one of these. Um, like the environmental sustainability team, I think that is 
Um, currently on hiatus, um, just because just um, certain things, you know, people have lives. Um, but it is something, you know, using GitOps in terms of like how to help environmental sustainability and all those things. Um, having GitOps be some of that cornerstone and automatically moving things around. Um, for, uh, yeah, media and events, it kind of all kind of jumps together, bundled together for like these type of events because social media and these events kind of go together. Uh, the same folks are involved in both of those. But if, um, you know, we, uh, we also need help in, in any of these, especially if any of you have European presence. We don't have a lot of European presence at the moment. I think we have a handful of folks um, for like marketing events in the Europe region. So um, that's, you know, kind of other, other teams to get involved. And if you, if you want to have other sub teams as well, you can, you know, um, come, come to a meeting, join, you know, say, hey, I want to start a SIG around, you know, GitOps with respect to, you know, something, right? Um, that as well. So um, there's other, yeah, proposed teams. You know, um, as Scott said, uh, let's let's have a meme sig, right? Like so, like GitOps meme. So Scott's Scott's great. I, I'm kind of uh, feel bad that he, he didn't come because he's he's a great person. So um, security, right, and fact checking. Those are kind of like things that we're talking about. Oh, hey, let's have um, you know, fact checking. Kind of goes with kind of certification. We want to be able to have like, oh, this tool is certified as Open GitOps, things like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so some inactive teams, so the principles committee, so that was like the four principles, um, you know, we got the four principles up, so that committee uh, is inactive, doesn't mean that it's going away, maybe we want to add a fifth principle, we want to change it, you know, version uh, 2.0 instead of 1.0, we'll reactivate some of those, so. Uh, discussions, so there's a lot of discussions um, going on. This is uh, probably um, what most people um, want, want to be involved with, right? Like GitOps at scale patterns, um, you know, things about events. Uh, the, my favorite one, clarify the meaning of pull, um, <laughs> is, is one that uh, I've all, so if, um, feel free to start a discussion. Um, I think this is where the most work comes on, people discussion asking questions or about clarifications or like, hey, I'm, I'm doing this pattern is, you know, what would be the most effective pattern for X? Those type of questions, um, discussions, things going on. Um, again, in the project, uh, in the project repo, that's where these discussions happen here. And yeah. Yeah, and so where to find us is the QR code will t basically take you to, I think, the just the gitops.dev website. So if you want to snag a picture of this, then that's great. But um, uh, open gitops.dev, github.com slash open dash gitops, and uh, starring the open gitops documents. I think that's kind of where a lot of the work has also yeah. been put in is the, the docs. So we can always use work there. And then come and join us for a meeting. We're the, the first and third uh, Wednesday at 1900 GMT. So um, if you have some availability, pop in, say hi. Um, super friendly folks there. Yeah. We're always open to anyone joining. If you even just want to chat, that's great. Um, and then, yeah, like Christian said, join uh, the discussions, open an issue. Um, the CNCF tag app delivery, I think mailing list also, we, we yep. put things through there that were any announcements or anything like that. So, um, yeah, just come say hi. Yeah, I think, um, and for... Uh, for getting involved in, in things like that, we're always just looking uh, to expand our reach um, with, you know, things just beyond cloud native, right? We are rooted in cloud native. I think, you know, we're in uh, the CNCF, so it makes sense where we do a lot of cloud native, but uh, we also just kind of want to expand to kind of just like beyond just like cloud native and what GitOps means out in like the greater ecosystem, right? We, um, you know, we want to democratize GitOps, essentially. We want to make it available and for everyone and kind of like what, what Stacy was saying like we don't want to like have you know say oh you're not doing all four you're out of the club no it's like uh, let's you know let's have these discussions let's evolve the practice as technology evolves so um and the way to do that is come and you know have a discussion come and challenge us you know and anything every everything and everyone is is welcome to talk about oh hey how, get off save my life and it's like hey you guys are missing fundamental things um, everything's welcome, you know, that's the only way, um, you know, we'll, we'll grow the project is, um, so feel free just in any time just to join, uh, the talk. So I think that's it. Um, enjoy being here network. And I think this room is track one this and room then is track, one. And track two is 22, 20, yeah, 22, 22 is track, is track two. two. So. so yeah, that's it.
Thanks yeah. for being here. All right, thank you, everyone.